everybody. My name is Chris Carey and welcome to the Hypnos Hypnos family. So I want to talk a little bit about fulfillment. Um, are you one of those people who's always striving to do better, be better, have better? You know, maybe you're that person lining up to get the newest iPhone or, you know, you've always got a brand new car or you're always, I don't know, trying to be better than the neighbor, trying to be better than your best friend. And, you know, maybe your Instagram page or your Facebook page or whatever the case your social media is uh, a beautiful world that shows no pain. Um, and it's not real, but are you really feeling fulfilled? Or is that just you trying to find significance, right? Um, as humans, we, we, we do both things. You know, we need to feel significant. And we also need to feel fulfilled. And unfortunately, most of us place the importance on significance. And that's, that's not where to go. Significance, um, it brings you to emptiness in the end. Uh, it's your ego. It's your ego. You want to feel love. You want to feel needed. You want to feel, you know, important. That's ego. That's ego. And yeah, okay, we, we do need to have our significance filled. We do need to enjoy being loved, right? But if you're leading with that, if that's the most important thing on your list, then you're going to be miserable. You're going to end up hollow inside because you're chasing pleasure. You're chasing glory. You're chasing the things that aren't going to matter, that aren't important, that aren't going to move you ahead in life. In fact, those things will just keep you standing there looking at yourself in the mirror. Oh, how pretty am I? You know? But are you going to move ahead with that? No, you'll be standing there just like we are with our phones. We're just standing there staring at these darn phones. And for what? You know, it's not bringing you significance. Those likes that you're getting on social media, it's not bringing you any significance at all. You know, yeah, okay. Or I should say that it's not bringing you any fulfillment at all. That social media, it's not bringing you any fulfillment, is it? It's bringing you significance. It's making you feel important. But how is it fulfilling your life in any way? How is it adding to your life in any way? It's not. It's not. You're not gaining in love. You're not gaining in growth. You're not gaining in knowledge. You're, you're, you're not contributing anything. You're just looking for someone to make you feel better about you. It's all ego. But when you live a life of fulfillment, now... That's an art. That's completely different. And success without fulfillment is actually failure. It's actually failure because think about all those people you know who have everything. They have the yacht. They have the billion dollars in their bank account. They have everything they want and need. And they're miserable. They're unhappy. They're grumpy. They're mean. You know? It's because they got everything they thought would make them more significant. They got that big company. They got the glory. They got the big bank account. But they weren't feeling fulfilled because they didn't feel their soul. They didn't feel the heart. And so they're empty. They're just empty. And so that's why you see people like the Robin Williams of the world who had everything. He had the glory. He had millions of people who loved him around the world. He had an amazing family, an amazing career. He had everything, but he took his life because he wasn't fulfilled. He wasn't. He was taking care of everyone else around him, but for himself. So yeah, Robin Williams made us all happy. He made us all full of love. He filled our hearts with glory, but who filled his? He didn't, nobody did. And so now he's gone because he wasn't fulfilled. And that's what happens, is you can fill your life up with all these great toys, which in the end are worthless. You don't need that stuff. And in fact, if you can't be happy without things, you're a bit more hollow than you might want to admit. And you're on a road to a bad place, a very bad place. You need to be able to sit by yourself without your toys and feel like you've done a good job, you know? Look at your children and feel like, yep, I've accomplished something fantastic instead of worrying about them going out in the world and failing because you didn't do enough, you know? Again, that's 
basically you trying to be significant. But are you fulfilled? Your fulfillment would be the happiness, the glory in seeing that child succeed and in watching them grow in the world rather than worrying about what you did wrong, right? It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about your ego. Leave the ego at the door. So, I mean, I talk to a lot of people every day and um, I've noticed a difference in mindset when I talk to my all dear friends and clients uh, and to the ones who are in the poverty mindset. You can see the difference. You can see who's placing what importance on what. Uh, people who are very successful, people who've made it in life, um, they have a list. They know the important, what to put at the top of the list. They know what's important, right? So they know that the art of fulfillment is right at the top of that list, that they have to fulfill their soul's desires. So fulfillment is, you know, being proud of what you've achieved, you know, keep moving forward. Um, is treating your expectations for appreciation. So, you know, instead of going through life miserable and expecting all the glory to come to you and expecting everybody to see your significance, why not be grateful for everything you've achieved and everything you already have in your life? Why not be grateful for the love that people show you already and be grateful for the fact that you're still walking around and breathing and talking and walking and that you do have a million dollars in your account already? Go where it's important. Go to fulfillment. Fulfill your soul. Fulfill your heart. Fulfill your happiness. And everything's going to change. Your whole life will be fantastic because you know what? You can have all the money in the world. You can have all the success in the world. You can have all the fame in the world. You can have as many followers as possible. You know, the most in the world. That's not going to make you happy. If you're empty inside, it's not going to make you happy. You got to find self-love. You got to find yourself. And that's the fight. That's the battle. That's the important part. You have to grow and you have to commit to yourself. And committing to yourself means not going to the spa to look pretty. It means working on yourself. Work on your mindset. Make sure you're in that positive mindset all the time so that when you're going forward, make sure so that when you something bad happens, that you can bounce right back to that positive mindset, right? Like that you're not going to sit in that misery for an hour or a day or a year. You know, when I get in a bad situation, when I get miserable, what I do is I pick myself up right away and I go to that dog park. I know I use my dog park as an excuse, but that's what I do. I go to the dog park. I call a friend and we go and I vent for 20 minutes and then I run and I play for the next 20 minutes and I have fun. And I get my mind off whatever was making me angry. And I put myself back into that happiness and abundance mindset. So that I could be abundant with life and love and happiness and wealth and success and friendship and everything I want out of life. Because when I'm stuck, when I'm stuck looking for significance, when I'm stuck looking for people to feed my ego, for things to feed my ego, I fail, you know. I fail. I go backwards. My vibration goes lower. People see that. They feel it. You know, but right now, I'm seeking fulfillment. I'm full. Actually, I'm fulfilled. I'm full of love. I'm absolutely full of happiness. And success cometh for me every single day. Just like it could come for you every day. You just have to be in that art of fulfillment rather than in that world of significance. Stop chasing the shiny things. That's not what matters. You matter. Work on you. Make yourself the best version of you that you can ever be. And then everything else falls into place, just like dominoes, right? You know, the second you change everything for yourself, the second you change your mindset, the second you begin to fulfill yourself, all the other things fall into place that you need. And of course, we need certainty. We need security. We need variety. We need uncertainty too. You know, and for those people out there who want a certain life, who want to only move forward if they know something's going to work, I know exactly where your life is going to go. It's going to go nowhere. Because you know what? Life is full of uncertainty. And it's that uncertainty that helps us to become fulfilled. It helps us to move forward. 
But when you need everything to be certain, when you need everything to be perfect, you're living out of fear. And you're going to get stuck there. Nothing's perfect in this world. Everything's ever changing. And you got to roll with the flow, baby. If you can't roll with it, you're going to let it left behind. So, again, I know you want to feel love and you want to contribute to the world. But do that by fulfilling other people, by giving. You know, I just talked to somebody today who has incredible wealth. And he told me that he gives much of his profit away to, you know, street kids or homeless children in other countries, like refugees. That's beautiful, you know, because it's going to keep his soul pure to help him move forward. It's about fulfilling your soul, your happiness, sharing, giving love. And the whole journey on this planet is to be love, share love, know love. That's who we need to be. That's who you need to embrace. And as soon as you could do that, life turns around for you. So be love, share love, know love. And I'll see you on the other side, guys.